I'm back. Um, I just got back from Wednesday. Wednesday's madness. Uh, I go thrifting, and on Wednesdays, Goodwill does a senior discount. You have to be 55 and older to get it, or know somebody that's 55 and older that will pay for you to check out. Um, my dad qualifies, and so we do that on Wednesday. So it was kind of our thing. Um, it's really hot in Las Vegas right now, so we went up to Mount Charleston for lunch, cooled off. It's about 20 degrees cooler up there. And on the way back down before he had to work, we stopped in and killed about an hour and a half there and found all kinds of good stuff. He's my good luck charm. I've said that before, and every time I'm with him, he's kind of trained, so he's like a double set of eyes. So, like, they bring out a new rack, and he's all hot guy. He's like, oh, my God, there's Puma pants. There's Adidas pants. You're going to want to go grab those. He's like, chase her. That girl's going to get your stuff. So he's getting all into it, too. So he's kind of funny. Anyways, um, I just wanted to quick go over the haul. I What I do, my system, um, after I shop, I take the receipt, and I have a spreadsheet in Google Sheets, and I log what I paid for everything, where I got it, and the day I got it, so I know how long it sits in my closet and how long it takes to sell something. Um, and I also log if I get a discount when I'm paying for it, so I know what my margins and markups are. So we can talk about how to figure that out in another video if I have any resellers that are interested. But right now, I wanted to go over the haul since I just entered all these numbers in. I have all the clothes here. I've gone through all the tags. These are all the tags from everything that we got. So um, if I would have checked out myself, the total would have been about $100, but because I had my dad with me to get his 40% off on Wednesday discount day, I saved $44.03, and it was only $55.97 for all of this stuff. And if you haven't figured it out, I have a resale boutique online on the Poshmark app, and all this stuff will go for sale there. And I try to look for things that everybody would find appealing. Um, my store doesn't really have one theme because I like all different kinds of styles. When I was in high school, when I was on the cheerleading team, everybody gets awards for for you know something they're good at or something they poke fun of you for and I got two awards my first and only year on cheerleading in high school the first one was from my peers in my little uh, JV group and I got the I beat my wife award which is horrible but I always used to wear wife beater tank tops to practice and then the varsity team gives you an award and I got the pick a fashion award or maybe it was, maybe my peers gave me that one. I don't remember. The Pick a Fashion Award, though, because one day I'd come to school preppy, the next day I'd come to school looking all bohemian, the next day I'd be grungy, and my closet on Poshmark kind of reflects the same the same thing. I have a ton of band t-shirts. Um, my dad was a musician and played guitar, and that's kind of how we bond together, so I'm super into a lot of the old classic rock stuff, Pat Benatar, Joan Jett. Um, Stevie Nicks, I like Steve Miller Band, Journey, that kind of stuff. That's kind of how I bond with my dad. He's super into Kiss. We went to Kiss concerts, so I dig and look for vintage concert t-shirts and a lot of times resell those. Um, I like the preppy stuff, too. I like the old Tommy Hilfiger stuff. I like Ralph Lauren. Uh, there's basically, if you're dressing for success, if you have a job interview or something like that, I have a lot of staples in my closet, um, a lot of navy and a lot of black um, pants, you know, like dress pants um, or just nice sweaters, button-ups, things like that. Um, and then I'm a super big fan of athleisure. 90% of my life I live in athleisure, whether it's um, Athleta, Fabletics, Lululemon, all that stuff. So um, I have a lot of that in the closet. And then I, everybody kind of that resells has their thing. And my thing seems to be leather jackets, faux leather jackets, and boots. So, um, and leggings, I guess. I have a lot of all that stuff. So I turn a lot of that. Um, Victoria's Secret was kind of hot for a while there, and now I'm more focused on um, the older Victoria's Secret stuff because their, their quality's a little bit waning, and they discontinued the old swim line, and now they only have the uh, pink swim line. So I kind of look for the older stuff that I think is better quality. So let me dive into this. So a lot of black jackets. So this one, let me back up so you guys can see all the stuff not doing a video for my car today. Um, this is super cute. It's a blazer. It's Vera Wang, and it has this little little mesh ruffle just to kind of add that something different. It's really lightweight, um, and it looks like it's a size medium. Let me see if it fits. Let's check it out. Cute. So if you were going somewhere to like a job interview or whatnot, just adds a little kick in the back. 
super cute. I usually roll my sleeves up and then pull them up a little bit, but that's cute. And if you're gauging me for size, I'm like, if there was such thing as a medium and a half, that would be me. Um, I'm around a size like eight. So that way. Then I found this little bad little gem. It's super cute. I always check the zippers, make sure everything works, make sure there's nothing hiding out in the pockets. And I pretty much look for stuff that looks brand new. Um, if it's been washed a lot, overwashed, if it has any snags or holes, if I ever sell anything that has snags or holes, it's an accident. Because I, I go through things with a fine tooth comb before I check out. Um, and usually I'll offer them for a super good price and I'll state it in the ad on my posh closet. But 90% of the time it's brand new stuff. This one's a size large. It's a little moto jacket. Super cute. Ooh, I like that. That's way cute. See, I can't do this. That's dangerous. I'll end up keeping all this stuff. So there's that. And I don't know how to say this. J-O-U-J-O-U. -O -O I think somebody said it was joie. Sounds bougie if you ask me, but the jacket's cute. And that brand, I guess, comes from Nordstrom, from what I found out. This one says J2 on the tag, and I think it's also that same brand, based on the comps that I looked up. Um, it's another leather jacket, little moto jacket, except this one. You open it up, and it's super soft, cozy little fur. It's all This one's fake. Um, I think all of the leather that I got today is faux, so if you're vegan, it's vegan friendly. Um, and this one is a small, so that won't fit me. I'm not even going to attempt to try it on. The other one was a large that I just had on, but this one is really cool. It has a sweater or sweatshirt gray hood material, and it also can zip in and zip out the lining pen. Um, it doesn't look like you can take out the fur. The fur is permanent, though. And so there's this little guy. Let me hold it up. There's that. Um, got another blazer. This one's a 12, so that should fit. This is from Express. Yeah, it's a little big, but yeah, the sleeves are too long on me. But it does have padded shoulder pads in here. Um, it would be a really good staple work jacket. The pockets on this one haven't even been, the seam hasn't even been ripped yet, so this, this is brand new. Uh, Express Design Studio. Can you see it? Yeah. It's a 12. Then I got into some not so dressy fancy stuff. Uh, I'm from Chicago originally so I had to pick up a Bears shirt when I saw it. Go Bears. There's nothing on the back. It's just blank. Um, but it is official NFL team apparel. It's a 2XL and I believe it's women's. Um, I was super excited about this. This was on the rack that I had to stock when they brought it out. I'm glad I got to it first. Um, it's Blondie official tank top. So if you're into, if you're into, um, like muscle tanks for festivals or whatnot, um, that's it. This one says two. I don't know what that means. This is definitely like a larger an XL, but that stuff can look super cute just with cutoffs and like a little bralette underneath or bikini. Um, I found a pair of, these are normal, just black in the front with pockets. They're sweats, they're Adidas sweats. And then on the bottom, there's like a little seam that goes across and it's got the Adidas logo in there like uh, joggers. Super cute. Um, these look like something that would stay in my closet. These are a large. Super cute. I also found these that are even more cute. Um, they're just leggings, but they're also Adidas, and they've got the Adidas logo on the bottom. I'm a big Adidas fan. I like Adidas. I like Nike feel on Puma too, but I tend to go with Adidas more. Um, this I was so excited about. I love it when I find Lulu when I go thrifting. This one is a size 4. And it's a little half zip. It's got a little zipper up the front. All the zippers work fine. Let me zip it up. It's like a little mock neck there, mock turtleneck. And then it's got a pocket in the front. And then all this 
seams in the back that make it super flattering and it does have thumb holes so it's got thumb holes there and then I found two things from Victoria's Secret um, if you ask me in my opinion the, my favorite um, line of Victoria's Secret is the body line just because it's pretty much full coverage um, it's kind of like memory foam this has never been worn before if it has they must have not liked it because it's basically brand new um, none of the none of these are bent or anything and the tag looks brand new and if your knockers are a size 36 double D this will fit you and then this one over here is from their old swim line before they discontinued it. At one point, I had these bottoms. If I still had them, I would have a complete set. But these are kind of in demand right now since they discontinued the swim line. Um, and it's got the padded cups in there. So it's super supportive. And then it's got the back necktie too. And this one is a pretty common size. It's a 36C. So that was the haul. I got all that for $55. So thanks to my dad's senior discount. So yay Wednesday. Mike, 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 Mike. If anybody follows that camel commercial, that's an ongoing joke in this household about the camel named Mike on hump day. So cheers. That's my passion sip. Every day is a passion sip, let's be real, right? So I'm going to start listing, and it'll be on my Poshmark store. If you um, need a download code, if you look up on your iPhone or your Android Poshmark, download the app. If if you need a code, um, it'll get you ten dollars. I think it's ten. It's normally five, but it, they've been doing a special for ten dollars free shopping credit in the app. Um, so I'll get ten, and you'll get ten if you use my code. And it's Sauce S A U C E two one two when you download the app. But it only works if you've never downloaded the app before. So go ahead and do that, um, and then look me up. My closet is at Sauce S A U C E two twelve. So I will see you in the app. If you go shopping at my closet, I always do three items for 15%. It automatically deducts it. And then on items $12 and under, I will approve a bundle of five items for 25 bucks. So that'll get you like a lot of shirts and leggings. The jackets and, and the shoes usually don't qualify for that. Um, and neither will the Lulu usually. Maybe, I think there's a tank top that might in there. But, um, and then I've got kids stuff in there. A lot of cute little dude stuff. Um, little Hawaiian shirts. Um, and I have a men's Hawaiian shirt in there, too. I've got, I'm looking at my wardrobe rack in here. There's ski and snow pants right now. We've got Nike shirts. We've got some stuff from Anthropology. There's a little uh, LuLaRoe dress for girls. It's a size 6. Uh, what else? Uh, just got some, like, festival wear, like little off-the-shoulder crop tops with maxi skirts. Um, some wedges, some born shoes, some boat shoes that are by Crocs, some really awesome vans. There's some leopard print uh, wedge vans in there, um, and then all kinds of other stuff. So just check out my closet, um, use the download code, and I will see you in my next video. And if you want to stay in touch with me through YouTube, um, hit subscribe below, and there's a little bell. If you click the bell, then anytime I upload a video, you'll get a YouTube notification. All right? Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.